Good evening, everybody out there. Thank you for tuning in to the webinar this evening. I'm Steve at Blackstar, and tonight's webinar is really all about ID Core. Um, it's our brand new range of amplifiers that have hit the market recently, and what you're looking at are three models. Uh, they're all feature stereo speakers. So we have a Stereo 10, ID Core Stereo 10, um, ID Core Stereo 20. You can see this one is the uh, the amplifier that I'm currently using. Uh, and then we've got the 40 at the back here. Uh, now they're all entry level price point, but um, as with everything that we do here at Blackstar, we try to innovate, we try to be different. Um, these are a general guitar combo to look at with a hidden two speaker system inside and they're full range um, and it, it, they all feature super wide stereo. Now, We've obviously got a couple of mics set up here on the 20 for you to get that experience. So one thing I'd recommend is some headphones um, to watch this because uh, you'll really get an essence of the, of the super wide stereo. But essentially what it gives you is if you're using things like reverb, modulations, uh, delays especially, um, it will not sound like it's actually coming from the combo itself. It'll kind of sound about three foot e either side and give you a real sense of... Uh, a wide sound. I've heard people say when I've been traveling around visiting dealers in the UK um, that they it makes them feel like they're playing in a stadium and obviously we want you guys out there and you girls to play more and to enhance the experience this is what ID Core is all about so it's not just a beginner's product. Um, tonally it will impress all of the seasoned pro guys and the pro enthusiasts um, I come from a long history of music retail myself and for the first time in a long time it's a product that I would actually be so excited to take one of my customers, one of my regular guys comes in, I'd take him straight up to this and say check this out, look at the price and have a listen. Um, so let's run through some of the features. Um, we've got a camera on top of the, the Core 20 just to show you um, what's going on so I'll run through um, everything that's happening on there. You can see we've got a few cables connected at the moment. So the first things that you see on the left here, you've got an emulated line out which doubles as your headphone socket. Now this can be used to uh, go to an external source as well, like a mixer or a, a digital audio workstation for recording, anything like that. Um, so that's very cool, a PA, things like that. Uh, we've got our MP3 input, which currently is coming out of my headphone socket of the laptop. Uh, obviously, this is my guitar for the input. USB connectivity. Now, this is really cool. Um, our ID range was the first product to really enhance this, but ID Core has been uh, very successful in, in its connection with recording. So you can actually connect this to any digital audio workstation um, and you can actually reamp through the uh, compatible insider software thereafter. Um, but um, importantly, the, the latency is very, very slim. So for recording with all the popular things like Cubase and Pro Tools and that kind of thing, this is your uh, digital audio interface. Uh, so it's not just an amplifier, which is great for the, for the money that they're at. Um, we've got six individual Blackstar voices. And if you're familiar with the ID series, it's, uh, it, it'll mirror that. So there's two cleans, two crunches, and two overdrives. Um, the overdrives, importantly, both feature a built-in noise gate, which is great for you high-gain players out there, but you can turn it off, of course, via the Insider software if you don't need it. Um, so, yeah, six voices. Um, we've got a manual and a preset mode. So you can actually store six of your favorite presets to each voice. Um, when you connect to the Insider software, it gives you the cap capabilities of uh, saving as many as you want, which is cool, and you can share and download and stuff, but we'll come to that in a moment. On the actual controls of the amplifier, we've got a gain stage, a volume stage, and our EQ is our Blackstar's patented ISF infant shape feature, so it allows you to move your tone stack around. Somewhere in the middle there is about right for most guitars, humbucking guitars, single coil guitars, um, it will be roughly somewhere sounding sweet, but you can shift that tone stack to be a more uh, mid-scooped uh, American style tighter sound right through towards a more open, woodier British style tone. Um, and importantly, the ethos of Blackstar is to 
find the sound in your head. So you could find that this position here around about 10 o'clock uh, would be the, your ideal EQ position, which is very cool. Now, just to put your minds at rest, if you're thinking, wow, I'm, not, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna lose my bass, middle and treble control. When you connect to the inside of software, if we can just take a look at the screen there, you'll notice there's uh, a bass, a middle and a treble EQ stage to adjust as well. So that's important to let you guys know that. So there is a full EQ on there. Uh, coming to our super wide effects stereo section, um, we've got four types of reverb. So we've got room, hall, spring and plate. We've got four types of delay. So we've got a linear, like a digital delay, um, analog, tape echo and multi-tap, um, all with a tap tempo feature and an overall level. And then we've got our modulations consisting of a phaser, a flanger, chorus and tremolo, which you can get a slicer effect and also a rotary style effect in there as well. So it's packed full of um, great tones, great sounds, all usable sounds that most guitarists will, will, will need to, to produce a good tone. Um, so if we just go to manual mode at the moment, on the front panel of the amp. Everything's pretty much flat at the top. Um, I've got no effects. So what I'm gonna do is just simply show you how the amplifier sounds by itself. Uh, and I'm sure you'll be pleasantly surprised. Um, to let you know what's happening with the guitar, I'm gonna be switching from my humbuckers to a, a series and parallel switch here. So I'll be able to get those single coil sounds as well. But ultimately, you, the choice is yours with what guitars you have, but both uh, single coils and humbuckers sound great. But um, the first sound I'm going to show you is a, a clean, warm sound. Um, so I'll just play through some basic chords and go through each of the stages. That's our clean, warm. Onto clean bright now. Nice and sparkly. Um, onto my bridge pickup, onto crunch. So you can see where we're going with this. It's a really nice, sweet, just slightly overdriven. Now, for the next one, Super Crunch, I'm going to just push the gain a little bit and switch to a humbucker so it gets the point across a little more. Um, but I'll stay in single call and then I'll change just so you can hear it's not a massive amount of difference. Um, so Super Crunch, a bit more gain. Let's turn the volume down a touch. <coughs> Onto humbucker. Kind of cool. So a nice super crunch there um, to play your rock stuff with rock and roll. Um, the OD1, you'll notice if I just let the guitar breathe a little bit, um, if I go to OD1, nice and silent. So for the guys that are really into that staccato style stop start play, um, riffage, riffage, you can basically get a really nice quiet tone when you're muted. Um, but you can turn that off, remember, via the software. So, <laughs> you can probably tell that's more of a, a harsher, harsher sound, you know? And uh, onto OD2. Um, this is a slightly different voicing for an overdrive, but again, gated. <laughs> nice, very versatile, so six voices to choose from. Uh, and that will suit most of you players out there. Um, now, storing presets on here, I've actually got six of my own, but I will show you how to store. 
Um, if we take the amplifier out of manual mode, we're now in preset mode, so the LED's off here. Um, let's just go to crunch for the moment. I mean, my, my original preset on here is a, a semi-driven crunch tone with a little bit of tremolo, um, just for a nice kind of indie vibe. <laughs> Bit of reverb on there as well, room reverb. Um, but let's take the modulation off. So if I just press twice on there, um, that will take my mods off. So now it's just a reverb. Quite a nice garage tone. Um, so if I wanted to store that particular preset and I'm happy with it, let's just adjust the EQ a little bit. Um, maybe more of a, a British vibe. <laughs> If I'm happy with that and I want to store it, all I simply do is go to the manual switch. If I hold it for around about five seconds, you'll see it flash, and then that's stored until further notice. And that's how easy it is to store your own sounds on there. Um, if you're storing via the Insider software, it, it really opens up a whole new kind of way of storing. You can name your patch, you can give it a description, a genre, um, put yourself as the author. Um, and then you can share it. And it's pretty cool to see other people downloading it and enjoying your sounds that you've created. Equally, you can download other people's as well. Now, what's very cool um, and surprised me when I first tried the ID Core out is that I'd created some uh, sounds on ID series that I really liked. Uh, and you folks out there have been downloading them uh, under my name, Black Star Product Trainer, which is very cool, thank you. Um, and you can actually download those as well to the amp. So it's not just core sounds. Um, you can download other people's ID versions of their tones as well, which is pretty cool. Um, by the end of this evening, um, I've created my six presets that I'm going to launch on the Insider website, uh, or software, should I say. So if you have a, a login to the online community, just search under Black Star Product Trainer. Um, and I'm, all the patches I'm going to upload, the six, um, will have a brief description. And also, you'll know they're mine because at the end of the name, um, will be IDC for ID Core. Um, so that way I can tell if I'm choosing to upload them to a core, um, I know which ones are, I prefer on the core amp, if you like. Um, so let me show you some of those presets. Um, obviously the crunch we've just stored, but we'll come back to that in a moment. Um, clean warm. Um, I've actually called this one, um, if you look at the, the laptop screen, um, I've called it Wide Dance Delay IDC. Um, and I have a, a lick that I uh, wrote for my band that kind of suited it quite well. But at the same time, I've tried other little licks with it and it seems to work for a few things. So see what you think. Um, so this is a uh, wide dance delay. Um, nice and ambient. On to Clean Bright, and one thing that I really love about this amp is if I just uh, bring the, the actual gain level down, uh, Bright Clean is really based on like a boutique clean, so it's got an earlier breakup. Um, the one thing I really love about this product is you can really drive that gain stage on the cleans as well. So it's kind of like you've got a, an old, old school clean amp cranked, so it's really breaking up and pushing the, those preamp valves really hard. Um, uh, so like on a single coil sound, it sounds really cool for that snappy, 
indie sound, all that Stevie Ray Vaughan kind of vibe. So see what you think when I crank that uh, gain up. Just really loads of feel. I mean, that's just the second voicing. It's great. That's one of my favorite voices on there. Um, on to Crunch. This is the one we just heard, so we've stored it. Um, it's a bit of a room reverb. Kind of nice. Uh, onto Super Crunch. Uh, for this one, I've pretty much gone for a, a classic lead high gain sound, but with a really spacious delay. So I'll stop and start with some lead stuff so you can hear that super wide through through your cans or through your decent PC monitors. So. <laughs> Onto OD1. Delay there just to give me some, some ambience to the tone, but definitely. Uh... Only two. <laughs> Quite a lot of chorus there for that nice kind of Zach Wild, Ozzy Osbourne, No More Tears kind of vibe. <laughs> So there you go, pretty cool. Um, the Insider software uh, is free to download for PC or Mac. We've just done a brand new update as well this evening, so make sure that you uh, get yours updated if you use Insider. Um, the first two things that you see on screen, we have uh, an extension of the amplifier for deeper editing. So not only can you adjust things on here, so for example, if I just move, uh, my gain control, you should hopefully see it moving on screen with me. Um, but also you can take your mouse and you can adjust uh, things like your EQ and to let you know where you've actually adjusted it internally, um, the, the white markers on the dials will turn red. And you can get really close to the pedals, you can change them a fraction at a time like any guitar player would like to uh, if they had the physical pedals in front of them just to get that perfect tone for the, for the song if you like. Um, so that's the first two things that you see. We then have an audio section, which I'm going to come to last, but essentially uh, it's a phrase trainer. 
uh, and you can import any MP3 music, any digital files from your computer. Uh, and it will play back and you can slow it down in real time pitch. You can select an A and a B point to loop as well. So if you're trying to nail that, licky, that, that really tricky uh, solo uh, or that riff, um, you can just concentrate on that segment. Um, and you can see I've got quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of tracks on there to choose from. Um, and that's all you need to do. Just click it and it appears in the uh, retro looking cassette tape deck. Um, there's also a metronome here as well. So you can hear that that's just a standard kind of click. You can adjust the, the sound of the click, the BPM, um, all the things that you would expect a metronome to let you change. Uh, and then we're on to our library. Um, the library is a place where you can store all of your presets. You can see there's only six in the amplifier that's available to store. So you can see my wide dance delay there, my SRV clean sting, um, and so on. And I'm gonna upload all these this evening if you've, if you've liked what you've heard so far. But you can see all of the ones I've created here. School's Out, that's a, a Tommy Henriksen artist patch from the online community, which is also very cool. You can get uh, artist, exclusive artist patches from the likes of Tommy and Gus G and um, all our endorsees. Um, the online community, um, I'm not currently logged in, but simply it gives you the chance to um, have a username and a password and just enter the online community and share and download as we've talked about, nice and easy. You can see there, username and password. And then we have a really nice on-screen clear tuner which mutes your sound as well. It's chromatic. Um, and also you can access the tuner from the front of the amplifier by simply holding the tap and the manual switch uh, simultaneously. Um, your voicings become your strings, so clean warm, clean bright will be your low E and your A, for example, and then the tuner will be your mod delay and reverb delay being in tune. Um, so let me just check my tuning for the moment. Make sure that we're in with these new strings. Always remember to tune up to pitch, kids. Never tune down, because you need to give your string tension. So just uh, if it's above pitch, like that, bring it down first and then back up. Just a simple lesson. B is cool. There's our E, so back down and then back up. Now one really cool thing that you can do with this as well, uh, and I've tried it myself, um, with the emulated line out, it is a full stereo emulated line out. So if you connect an ID core to a PA system, for example, you could take a, a 3.5 millimeter stereo cable out of here into two quarter inch mono, and you could go into two channels on a desk, and you could pan hard left and hard right. And then of course, depending on the power of your PA, you can get it really cranked quite loud, um, which is a great thing to be able to do, and you get the full super wide stereo effect through your PA, which is insane to listen to and play to. It's fantastic. Um, the foot switch capabilities are only on the ID Core 20 and the ID Core 40. Um, this is the FS11 foot switch. Now, um, speaking from a, a guy that used to work in a store, this would be the conversation that I would have with you, the buyer or the purchaser. Um, when you're a kid growing up and you're playing guitar, when I were a lad, I remember <laughs> getting your first pedal is hugely important. Um, I remember getting my first fuzz distortion and learning my Guns N' Roses licks when I was a kid, playing along with uh, Appetite for Destruction, for example, and learning when to actually press the pedal for the lead break and getting it in time, that kind of thing. Um, so to give you guys a, a one-way on-off switch, just isn't good enough for our entry level range. We've given you something um, that's gonna be inexpensive, it's an optional extra, um, FS11 that's a little bit more intuitive. Um, there's actually two modes on the pedal that you can adjust via the software in your settings. The first mode, uh, which is called uh, default mode, will simply allow you to choose via the software two of your favorite presets. So for example, I've already preloaded um, Clean Bright and Super Crunch is my favorites. And then this second pedal, second switch, will turn the effects on and off on that particular preset respectively. So if there's a delay on the Clean Bright, it will turn that off. If there's a reverb on the Super Crunch, it will turn that off. 
um, which is very cool. A little bit more to think about if you're a beginner especially. Um, and then the optional mode will simply let, let you scroll up or down throughout all six patches. Obviously they will change each time you press it uh, and it will go in a circular motion if you keep pressing up. Um, so a lot more innovation in a pedal, which I think is very, very cool. And that's something that I'll be talking about um, when I'm in stores. And if any sales guys are out there around the world that sell Black Star, make sure you bring that up because it's a really unique thing. Um, so, for example, um, we can see I'm on my clean bright there. So, switching between those two favourite channels and turning the effects on and off, really cool. Um, what we're going to show you, um, which is a little difficult for me because obviously I won't be able to hear the actual speakers because when you connect something to the headphone or emulate it out, it does mute the speaker. Um, so I'll try and play around with some of my presets that are already pre-loaded. Pre but we've got the ID Core 10 here, um, utilising the emulated line out. So, I'm just going to play through some presets on there that I've already loaded up as well um, and hopefully uh, it'll sound okay. Um, but this will give you a good idea of what the headphones actually sound like direct or what it will give you through um, a PA system let's say. Um, so let's just get my cable in there. Again my, my presets. Um, <laughs> So hopefully that will give you a good idea of what it will sound like through your PA system or your headphones uh, out as well, which is pretty cool. You get the super wide stereo full on. Um, so um, what I'm going to do now is just play along to a track to finish up on the on the webinar this evening. Um, I have actually done my own easy guide for ID Core, uh, and if anyone out there would like it or if you've already owned one. Um, please feel free to email me on steve.marks at blackstaramps.com and I'll be able to send that through to you. It's a bit more of an easier way of looking at things um, explained in my way if you like, so I don't mind sending that through. Um, but let me just show you again just how cool um, the... Oops, let's get the mains out there. Schoolboy or error, as Drew likes to say. <laughs> There we go. We plug back in. Um, so, if we open the audio section, um, let's choose let's choose a track. Let's go with some Van Halen for this evening. Um, but we appreciate you tuning in and watching, uh, whether it's live this evening on the webinar or whether it's uh, on YouTube at a later point. Remember to follow us on all the social media avenues like Instagram, uh, Facebook. Um, Twitter, that kind of thing. And if you have any other inquiries, please send e your emails to inquiries at blackstaramps.com. Um, so thanks for watching, and I'll try not to murder a Van Halen song for you. But uh, let's get one of my presets up. Remember, I'm going to load some uh, a little bit later on this evening or tomorrow, so keep an eye out for those uh, under Blackstar Product Trainer. Um, <coughs> Again, remember you can actually slow this down in real time uh, pitch to learn stuff, but I'm just going to play it normal um, with David Lee Roth and the boys, and we'll see you again very soon, and thanks for watching.